Kelly. So today we're going to learn about biology, starting with sexual reproduction for today. Sexual reproduction is the production of new offspring by two parents. Each parent contributes to a unique section of their genes, making every offspring genetically unique. This variation makes sexually reproducing populations better able to adapt to changes, such as the appearance of new diseases. Key facts. Sexual reproduction requires two parents. Male and female gametes fuse to create a zygote. This is called fertilization. The offspring produced by sexual reproduction are all genetically different, creating variation. And are called male sex cells are called sperm. Female female sex cells are called eggs. Egg cells or ova. Sperm cells are much smaller, but much more numerous than egg cells. Sex cells. Sex cells are produced by a type of cell division called mesmosis, which gives each sex cell half of the usual number of chromosomes. When a sperm and egg cell fuse to form a zygote. The chromosomes combine the nucleus, restoring the full number. Each embryo has a unique blend of maternal and paternal genes, which results in genetically varied offspring. Human sperm, two hundred and three chromosomes. Human sperm, twenty three chromosomes. Human egg, twenty three chromosomes. Zygote. Forty-six chromosomes, embryo. Forty-six chromosomes. Sexual reproduction involves the production of special cells called sex cells. In animals, female sex cells are called egg cells, and male sex cells are called sperm. When a male sex cell meets a female sex cell, they fuse with one another, a process known as fertilization. The fertilized egg is called a zygote and may develop into a new organism. Sperm cell. Animals and some plants produce male sex cells called sperm. A sperm cell has a tail that it beats to swim towards an egg cell. A long tail propels the sperm toward the egg. The head contains chromosomes. Mitochondria. Provide energy for movement. Sexual reproduction. A sexual reproduction is the process production of new offspring by a single parent. This form of reproduction is very common in microorganisms, plants, and many small animals. All the offspring produced by a sexual reproduction are genetically identical, both both to each other and to the parent. Evax. The offspring produced by asexual reproduction are all genetically identical. Asexual reproduction allows many offspring to be produced quickly in favorable conditions. Budding in yeasts. Yeasts are single-celled fungi that can multiply in number very quickly, thanks to a form of asexual reproduction known as budding. A new yeast cell develops as a small outgrowth or bud of the parent cell. Corals, sponges, and small freshwater animals called hydras also produce by budding. Forms between the two cells before the daughter cell separates. The daughter cell is smaller than the mother cell. Advantages of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction has many advantages over sexual reproduction. Only one parent is needed, so there is no need to find a mate. It is faster than sexual reproduction, allowing organisms to multiply quicker. Quickly under favorable conditions. However, unlike sexual production, which pro produces varied offspring, 
Asexual reproduction produces genetically identical clones. This makes all members of the population equally vulnerable, vulnerable to the same disease, or to a change in the environment. Aspen trees reproduce asexually from the roots, which helps them spread quickly. Parent: Aspen tree.